Nobody came to that doorway over there. And that was pitch black. Do you see anything? I thought I saw something there, but it could have been a light as I came to the other monsters. The door is open. And today we're going to be talking about a haunted church located in Felicity, Ohio. Its owner, Nathan Jeffries, who's bought this place in order to restore it back to its original state. The reason I say original is because this building was constructed in 1854 and has been abandoned for over 40 years. Nathan invited us to see if there's any spirits lingering from the stories of Felicity, Ohio. It's said that this building has had a man shot and killed inside of it, and also it's theorized that this building was picked up and moved from its original location which in its original location had a cemetery. Nathan invited us in so we could see if there's any spirits that still remained or if there's any spirits at all. So we got our stuff ready and headed out. Starting out midday, we set up our CCTV cameras with the help of Venom Wolf, AKA Michael Draves, and also Donovan Gagan. Venom was actually the person who got us in contact with Nathan in the first place and set us up with this investigation. He actually ended up helping on our investigation as well. Walking around this room, we could tell that it wasn't very big, but we knew that it held a lot of secrets and whispers, and ones that haven't been heard in a very long time. It took some time to set things up, but soon, the investigation began. March 31st, the day before Easter, Felicity Presbyterian Church, um, 2018, closest time that we have. Sorry. Sorry. What's the time? Uh, uh, Hold on. 8 o'clock? 8 10? Yeah, she's got a clock. 8 51? 8 51. Wow, it's 8 I thought it was. Wow. Alright, go ahead and once we find a position, turn your light down or off because all the cameras are night vision at the moment. So we'll. If they, if, let me walk up here first and see if it's safe. Um, okay. Yeah, right. Now, th this right here is definitely sturdy. Um, back here, it starts to get unsturdy some, but I think it's fine as long as like, one person stands on this part, another person stands over here. Hello. My name is Cody Dotson, or as some know me, Leo. I am the leader of the Zodiacs. We are the group that is here with you tonight. First off, I want to mention we mean you no harm. We mean no pain. We don't want to cause any discomfort, we just want to talk with you. We want to learn your story. We want to know why you're here. We want to know what's going on. Because there has been reports that you are still here in this area. And the fact that we've seen a man moving from the windows, silhouettes, weird vibes coming from here. And we want to know what's wrong. We want to hear your story. Uh, we do understand that this building is over, over 200 years old almost. And we want to know who's all here still in line, possibly for the church, possibly for the business that was here. We want to know what your, what your story is. If you're here for the church, I am here up on the podium right now, and if you are the preacher, the deacon, reverend, I'm not sure what exactly you were here, but I want to know, I want you to know that I'm not here trying to take your place. I'm just here to get an audience with all of you. So first off, I'm going to have a moment of silence so you guys can say what you need 
and what's going on. And then after that, I will ask a couple of questions, see if your response is. And I'll explain about the devices I have in front of me and how you can communicate with those as well. I do want to point off to EVPs and uh, camera that it is raining outside right now, so you may hear drops and thumps on uh, the roof is tin for the most part, the rest is wood. Um, I haven't seen any drops yet, but it could come through as well. Um, also, I want to point out to all those, if you are feeling threatened by us at all, again, we are not trying to trespass, and technically we are not trespassing. This property itself is, um, the property itself is now owned by another man, and you've seen him coming in out, and he has given us permission to come in here and talk to you all to understand your stories. So please do not feel as if we're intruding. We really do not want to come at you aggressively in any way. So please understand that we are here on equal terms, just to hear and talk with you as you can talk with us. And the way you can do that is, I really have two devices out right now. We will pull out more possibly later, but what? It blipped? It blipped. It did. To what? To the green. Okay. Um, so keep an eye on that as well. So what she has in front of her and in front of me, these are called K2 meters. What these are, it picks up your wavelength. Now, I'm not sure if you know this or not, but we can't see you fully. We can kind of see blips of you moving from side to side silhouettes, but we can't fully see you or hear you yet. We do have devices beside us like this. This is called an EMF. What this does, it allows you to pick up the electromagnetic voice phenomenon, which means that we can hear you in this later. You've got to get close and talk loud enough, and even if just as, as much as you can. But if you feel like that's too much, definitely what we have in front of me is this. Um, you can walk up beside it, and it'll pick you up, and I'll know that you're standing beside me, as you have done with hers. So as I'm talking, don't be afraid to go to hers as well. Um, what also I have, and I will put this here, this is a flashlight. Um, most of you have seen one before. This is a more modern version. I'm going to turn it down low. The ends here, we're going to turn it all the way back to right before you can turn it on. Because we're it is kind of hard to do so. And I will leave that up here as well as we're walking around. But as you can see, it takes a little bit. Just a quick twist and it turns on. Like that, on. See? And I will leave that um, up here as well. I will, let's see, put that I'll put it right here. But it may be a little hard to see. It might be hard to get to, so when I get off of the podium, I will move it to a better position. Okay? And it could then be my movement as well doing it, so I'll try and stand as still as possible. So don't be afraid to come to me. I don't bite. I try not to harm anyone. So you can touch the back of that. Again, it's kind of hard access right now just because of the way this is. So don't be afraid to touch it as well. Now, before we start, is there any questions? Um, if there is, or you feel uncomfortable with what we have, go ahead and click what, come near our meters here, or the camera, or the, the flashlight. Just to point out, I was not moving. I didn't even shift my weight. As you saw, the flashlight did come on after I asked that question, which could happen from my movement. But as you saw, I wasn't moving. And we believe we picked up a voice acknowledging what I was saying. Before we start, is there any questions? Um, if there is, or you feel uncomfortable with what we have, go ahead and click what, come near our meters here, or the camera, or uh, the flashlight. Just to point out, I was not moving. I didn't even shift my weight. What I'll do is I'll leave the K2 down there, um, and I'll pull out another one. It's going to do the same exact thing, except beep. Actually, I'll put that one down here. That one's a little bit closer to stage. You can touch that as well. And if you want to come to me personally, you can touch this one. Are, are you okay with us being here? Someone leave that phone. No, neither of us are moving. Is that you making that thumping noise? If that's easier communication, can you do that again? Mm. 
Those of you that made that little light over there, can you do that again? I couldn't tell if that was Cindy's or... It looked like an orb over there, but... I didn't want to Over there on the corner, on the second window. Could have been a light coming through the window as well. I will point out, I do feel like a pain in my back, and it does feel like someone's behind me, but it doesn't feel like they're the cause of the pain. That makes sense. They're kind of like almost like standing behind me, letting me talk, but... I can't tell if it's just me or not. Oh, did that lift? No. I'm if, if I'm coming towards you, don't worry, I'm not here to hurt you. This device is not, oh, four, red. Does it also hold so you follow it I'm trying. There's no electricity in here, Sim. <laughs> okay, but there's also wires behind me. I know, but all of them are off. Can you do that again for me, please? Again, I don't mean any harm to you at all. I will test that, though. Okay. Is there any harm? Now, when you not mean any harm to you at all, I just want to speak to you. I'm not trying to scare you. This did go red, though. I don't know if you saw it. Let me go back a little bit more. I'm trying to be careful, because this floor is not. OK, that part's dirty. I'm going to try and see. It just went off again while you were looking down. I think so, too. That one's going off. Yeah, look. Nothing. I'm going to touch the wall here. I'm going to back up because I'm sorry if I'm like getting too close for personal. Again, the floor is not strong here. I'm just making sure that this is you trying to communicate with me. Did you get colder? I've been cold this whole time. I got, I was warm. I got cold. It could have walked past me. Probably didn't like me getting too close and probably came in my finger direction. My back stopped hurting though. Mine did go off. Did it? When? Just now? No, when? We first started talking? Yeah. If there's someone behind me that or was behind me, do not worry. I do not mean to cause you any harm. I just want to speak with you. Is there anything you want to tell us? Did you I know, it sounds like a truck. I don't think that's that close, though. I think it's farther away. Mm. No, I don't see any lights on outside. I'm so struck. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to walk one more time in your direction. If you are still behind me, I do not sense you're behind me anymore. But I have been wrong before. So I'm just checking. If you are, you can stand up here with me. Again, like we can talk together. I want to know if it, if it is that people have been coming in this church or in this building, which is still considered a church. If they've been coming in here and you're just upset about it, other like people coming in here for squatting or the fact that it's a mess in here and it was once a beautiful, beautiful place, please let us know. We want to try to help. Because there's no electricity back here. And you saw it. Did you see it go red at all? Or was, I, was it in the weird angle? Yeah, I couldn't. I was looking through the camera. Okay. I seen other lights flash on it. I couldn't see what it was. <laughs> as soon as things got moving, I started feeling a pain in my back. Like as if someone was digging their fingers into it. The thing is, is it wasn't very painful, more or less that someone was telling me to get out of the way. And we started getting EMF spurts at the same time. But the thing is, is that this building hasn't had electricity through it in over a decade. We then moved on to what we believe was an old storage room or the old preacher's meeting room. Um, I, again, I'm in your room right now, I believe, or it's could have been storage, but I don't see any like closets or anything here, so I'm guessing this was a room for a desk would be so people come back here and talk to you about you know, the church, a place where people would have meetings. Uh, if I'm right, can you give me a sign? We thought we saw a small apparition, a shadow, appear by the door over here. Was that you? Where do you feel about that side? Me too. I felt it right here. Right here. Yeah, it was like a sharp pain, like someone slapped me. Did you feel that too? Sure. 
And left them so full. Yeah, it actually numbed my ear some up here. Okay. If you're upset with us again, we mean no harm. We mean no pain. We're only here to talk with you. We're here to learn from you. We want to know your story. Why you're upset. If you're here, can you give us a sign? Any sign will work. You can knock on the wood around here. You can push some of the stuff around outside. You can turn on my flashlight to mess with one of the things in our hands. As you saw, Sydney didn't feel so good, and she said she had a sharp pain on her face. By the time she made it back to HQ, they said that she had a big red mark on her face as if she was slapped. For the first bit, 
There wasn't much we could capture, but as the night progressed, more and more started to happen. After about an hour, it became James and Roger's turn, so that way we could see if they get any different responses to the questions that they've asked. You have a seat here. If you, uh, if you want to talk, we'd love to chat with you. The guards seem to get busy as well. We're investigating. Did you hear that, though? I'm going to if there's anyone here. Did you hear that behind me? Over there? No. I just saw them up here about one through one. Yeah. Well, I guess it could make sound like a I mean, closely enough, it's the animals scratching at the door at the door there, but it could lose the water as well. No. Was that you? Yeah. Once again, all you have to do is touch one of the two devices just to let us know you're here. We just want to talk and get to know you and hear hear your story. You see why you're here. If you think it's still your lifetime, it's 2018. <clears throat> this church is no longer around. sitting in and talking to see what they can find. We had some pains and stuff and whatnot, and <laughs> this I you scared the crap out of me. Yeah, I just saw like a, a, a black shadow in the door. Like, oh shit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's oh, it's yeah. Very low now. Um, this is James and this is Roger. I think you saw a bunch of I met Roger earlier. Uh, yeah, James yeah. and Nathan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. You see, yeah, I saw the shadow slowly moving too. I was like, this is it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, this is how we die. You know. <laughs> As you saw, Nathan scared us, but to our surprise, he wanted to join, and we were more than happy to have him join this investigation. Unfortunately, though, this is the end of the first part of this series. The reason being is because there's so much information that we want to make sure you get to see it all. So please, hit subscribe so that way you get to see next week's part two video. Also, if you haven't seen last week's video, it's a vlog describing everything that happened prior to this video, and everything that happened in between, so please, check it out. Alright guys, remember, have fun and be safe out there, and I'll see you in the next one. Failure ain't an option, so I be cautious. I hope that you're watching. Don't try to stop this, work until I'm nauseous. Cause I will not quit, no because I want this. Don't try to stop me. Failure ain't an option, so I be cautious. I hope that you're watching. Don't try to stop this, work until I'm nauseous. Cause I will not quit. Don't try to stop me now